Go on, 2012 was a very special year in our country's history, as we know. Not only did we have the excitement of the Olympics, but we also had the fun, the glamour, the colour, and the jubilation of the Queen's Diamond Jubilee. And in Hazelmere, it hasn't finished yet because they have a special exhibition on at the museum featuring photographs from Hazelmere Camera Club, who were there on the day of the town's big party. We're here tonight for the launch of the exhibition, which has been put together by museum staff and members of the Hazelmere Jubilee Celebrations Organising Committee, with a tremendous amount of help, of course, from Hazelmere Camera Club members who took all the pictures. Let's go and have a look at what they've done. We were asked by the Jubilee Committee to record what they thought would be a stunning event, which it was. So we did. We took hundreds of pictures, about 1,500, whittled it down to 200, almost all of which are here. And then a further 100 were edited out for the album, which you can buy off blurb.co.uk. And there are about seven of us, six of us who took the pictures. We all had a fun day. It's a great time. So it must have been really, really hard work, but it, it was a long day, presumably, um, but it was hard work. It was a long day. We split it up. We took it in turns to do different parts of it, because all the celebrations started about 12 o'clock until, well, till midnight. It was a long day. It's good, though. And the editing process, how long did that take you? Hours. Well, only hours. I mean, it wasn't days. <laughs> a few hours. Yeah. Okay, and you're looking for people to come to the exhibition to recognise themselves and people that they know, is that correct? Yeah, that would be great because the museum is going to keep these pictures for posterity, for well, a long time anyway, and it would be nice to have to, to know who all the, all the people are, your grandchildren might be interested to know, oh look there's mummy back in 2012, and um, we're asking people to come find themselves in the pictures and write in on some photocopies of the prints we've got here. It's about commemorating an absolutely wonderful day that we had last year. Um, thousands of photographs were taken from the beginning of the day right through with the processions and the tea parties and ending up with the fireworks. And it was a huge community event and we're so fortunate that actually we have thousands of pictures to commemorate it. And we've just got a few of them here today. And you're asking people to come in and obviously have a look at the pictures and spot themselves or people they know? Yes, please, because what we'd like to do at the end of the exhibition, which ends um, the first week in February, We'd like people to identify themselves, write their names down, and then all of this will go into the museum archives and be available for generations to come, which would be wonderful. So lots of work obviously went into the planning of the Jubilee, and, and the day went really, really well. What was your feeling on coming out of it at the end? Relief, <laughs> I think, that the day had gone so well. It didn't rain, or we were terribly fortunate. It was a fantastic day. Thousands of people turned up, and I think it was a day fit for the Queen.